As was the case in 1958, the first feature recorded by the railway roundabout team in 1959 was the closure of a group of railway lines, this time those emanating from Monmouth to both Ross-on-Wye and Chepstow. The first location visited was Ross-on-Wye, where the Monmouth auto train left from the bay platform. Pat Whitehouse and John Adams didn't attend on the last day of all, on which only an enthusiast special ran, but the day before, when the last normal service trains ran. This enabled them to record a number of trains, and of course to ride in the driver's compartment of one of the auto trailers along the Wye Valley and through Simmons Yacht Station. Today, much of the course of this line has been obliterated by the M50 motorway, for although it had many scenic attractions, the Wye Valley didn't attract many tourists and had few centres of population. The railway was losing £10,000 a year, and even the local bus services couldn't be made to pay. Monmouth was approached via a girder bridge over the River Wye, which turned to the south here towards Chepstow. Monmouth had two stations, the original Monmouth May Hill on the far side of the bridge, and Monmouth Troy, which was the junction for the other Wye Valley line to Chepstow. The standard locomotives on the Wye Valley lines were the Collett 1400 auto tanks and the familiar pannier tanks on the Chepstow line. Railway enthusiasts made up the majority of the passengers on this last weekend. Overnight snow was to present a different scene for the final day. On the Gloucester to South Wales main line, Chepstow was the junction station for the 13 and three quarter mile branch to Monmouth, following the meandering Wye Valley. Originally, there had been only four intermediate stations, but an effort to increase custom by the sighting of six additional halts could not stem the tide of passengers deserting the railway. Redbrook was the last station before Monmouth and only had good sidings with no passing facilities. The line crossed and recrossed the River Wye and was consequently expensive to maintain. It was reported that this branch was losing £13,000 a year on passenger services alone, but it was to survive for a further five years for freight use only and a small portion of the Chepstow end is still in use today, running to the stone quarry at Tidenham. Monmouth Troy had once been a through station, but the line through the tunnel to Pontypool Road had seen its last passenger services in May 1955. The pannier tank wasn't auto-fitted, so it had to run round. On this last day, all trains were specially strengthened, a single auto-coach usually having sufficed. As the evening drew in, the last trains were prepared at Monmouth. The first of these to go was to Chepstow. Once the pannier had left, the 1400 tank was able to run round 
as its four-coach last train wasn't order-fitted. Sadly, its departure couldn't be filmed as the light had gone.